In October 2017, something extraordinary entered our solar system. A strange, silent traveler, moving too fast, too freely, to have ever been born among our planets. Telescopes across the world caught sight of it, a faint glimmer racing through the black, its motion unlike anything recorded before. At first, astronomers thought it might be a comet, a frozen wanderer carrying the breath of distant worlds. But comets have tails, bright plumes of ice and dust that whisper in sunlight. This object had none. It didn't glow, it didn't leave a trace. It simply moved, swiftly, deliberately, mysteriously. It was the first confirmed interstellar object ever seen passing through our solar system. They named it Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning messenger or scout from afar. A fitting name, because it felt as though the universe had just sent us a message, a visitor from beyond the stars. From the moment of its discovery, Oumuamua captured the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. Its path was hyperbolic, a mathematical signature that told us one clear truth. It came from somewhere else, and it would never return. It entered our solar system at nearly 315,000 kilometers per hour, swinging around the sun and disappearing back into the void, as if it had merely stopped by to be noticed. But what truly puzzled astronomers was not just its speed or trajectory, it was its behavior. Oumuamua didn't act like a rock. It didn't behave like a comet. It accelerated as it left the sun, as though pushed by an invisible force. Gravity alone could not account for it. Every simulation, every equation, every physical model failed to explain the movement of this visitor. Some speculated it was made of pure hydrogen ice, sublimating in the heat of the sun, a cosmic iceberg from another world. Others proposed it might be a fragment of nitrogen from a frozen exoplanet, a shard torn loose by some ancient catastrophe. And then came the boldest idea of all, that perhaps it was not natural at all, but engineered. Could Oumuamua be an artifact? A relic from an advanced civilization? A probe sailing between the stars? The thought electrified the scientific community. For the first time, astronomy was not just looking outward, it was asking if something out there was looking back. Years passed, and the mystery deepened. No telescope on Earth had the clarity to see Oumuamua in detail. It was already racing away, shrinking into darkness faster than any spacecraft we had ever launched. But then came hope, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in December 2021, Webb was humanity's most ambitious eye on the cosmos. A golden mirror floating a million miles from Earth, designed to see in infrared, to pierce through dust, distance, and time itself. Its mission, to reveal what no other telescope could. And so, when Webb finally turned its gaze toward Oumuamua, now drifting far beyond the orbit of Neptune, the world held its breath. Through its shimmering mirrors, Webb captured something breathtaking, the first true image of the interstellar messenger. Oumuamua appeared long, narrow, and twisted, an asymmetric shard glinting faintly in the cosmic dark. Its surface was rough and scarred, carved by eons of collisions with particles and radiation between the stars. It looked ancient, a fossil of the galaxy itself. But Webb's instruments revealed something even more extraordinary. The light reflecting off Oumuamua's surface carried the fingerprints of complex organic molecules, chemicals rarely found together in our solar system. They hinted that this object was born in a region of space unlike our own, a place richer, more chaotic, where the raw materials of life may have taken entirely different forms. Every wavelength told a story, of metallic minerals fused with carbon chains, of compounds unknown to human science, of a journey lasting billions of years across interstellar space. Its color, its texture, its mysterious brightness, all spoke of an origin beyond imagination. And yet, the enigma of its acceleration remained. There were no jets of gas, 
No fragments of ice escaping into space. No signs of internal reaction. Something else was propelling it. Webb's high-precision instruments detected a faint but steady push, as if Oumuamua were responding to light itself. A few scientists whispered the phrase light sail, a thin, reflective structure that could ride the pressure of starlight like wind in a cosmic ocean. Was this a natural phenomenon? Or a trace of design? No one could say. But one thing was certain, Oumuamua was no ordinary rock. It was a messenger, a clue, a whisper from the deep universe, inviting us to look farther, to wonder harder, and to imagine what else might be out there, drifting silently between the message from the dark when the James Webb Space Telescope completed its first analysis, astronomers were stunned. The data painted a picture far more complex than anyone had imagined. Oumuamua's surface wasn't just rock and dust. It shimmered with unusual metallic and mineral compounds, materials that do not exist naturally in our solar system. There were traces of carbon-rich molecules, building blocks that, under the right conditions, could give rise to life. And embedded within its surface, tiny reflective crystals, a material so bright it almost seemed polished. That shine might explain its unusual brightness, but it raised another, deeper question. What could have created such a reflective skin in the cold silence between stars? Webb's instruments measured subtle variations in light, revealing that Oumuamua's surface was coated in layers of complex organics, chemicals formed through billions of years of cosmic radiation and dust accumulation. Each layer, like a fingerprint, told the story of where it had been, the suns it passed, the storms of particles it endured, the silent millennia between galaxies. Scientists began to realize, Oumuamua was more than a traveler. It was a time capsule. A relic carrying within it the chemical history of the universe itself. Somewhere in the distant past, long before our sun was born, something catastrophic must have happened. A young star system, vibrant, full of new worlds, was torn apart by gravity's violence. Perhaps a nearby supermassive star collapsed, or a black hole's tidal pull shredded an infant planet into fragments. And from that chaos, Oumuamua was born, a shard flung into eternal exile, wandering endlessly through the interstellar dark. If this theory is true, then Oumuamua is a survivor, a witness to the death of a world long lost to time. Every crater on its surface, every groove and fracture, is a record of cosmic violence and endurance. But another idea emerged, one even more profound. Some researchers proposed that Oumuamua might not only be a survivor, but a carrier, a vessel spreading the ingredients of life from one star system to another. The theory is called interstellar panspermia. The idea that the seeds of life could travel between worlds on the backs of objects like this. And if true, Oumuamua could be one of the messengers that carried organic molecules across the galaxy, seeding life wherever conditions allowed it to bloom. Imagine it. Tiny fragments of carbon and amino acids, sleeping for billions of years on a rock drifting through infinity, only to awaken when they find a warm, welcoming planet. Could it be that objects like Oumuamua once passed through our solar system in the deep past, long before Earth was born? Could our own origins be tied to travelers just like it? It's a haunting thought, that we might owe our existence to the silent wanderers of the stars. As these theories spread, the excitement among scientists grew. Plans began to form for future missions probes capable of chasing and intercepting interstellar visitors as they enter our solar system. Projects inspired by Oumuamua, like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send miniature light-propelled spacecraft to nearby star systems, are no longer dreams of science fiction. They are blueprints for the next chapter of exploration. For the first time, humanity is thinking not just about observing the cosmos, but about reaching into it. And all because of one object, a shard of another world that slipped briefly into our sight and changed how we see the universe.
Oumuamua reminds us that the cosmos is still full of questions we haven't yet learned how to ask. It challenges us to think beyond our boundaries, to consider that intelligence, creation, and life might exist in forms we can barely comprehend. Because maybe, just maybe, Oumuamua wasn't a coincidence. Maybe it was a message. A quiet reminder that we are not alone, that the universe is alive with movement, mystery, and memory. And as it drifts farther into the dark, beyond the reach of even the web telescope, it carries with it our curiosity, our need to understand. The story of Oumuamua isn't just the story of a rock. It's the story of us, of how far we've come, and how far we're willing to go to uncover the secrets written in the stars. The universe is vast, and our part in it is small. But every discovery, every fleeting glimpse like this, reminds us of something beautiful, that in our search for the unknown, we discover ourselves. Oumuamua, the interstellar messenger, was never just passing through. He came to remind us that the cosmos is speaking, and that we,